Hey guys, it's Joanna here. I'm feeling really good because I just filled my fridge up with lots of fresh, nutritious food. I really do enjoy my weekly food shopping because it gets me excited over preparing delicious home-cooked meals. So be sure to give this video a thumb up if you feel the same as well. What you saw at home has a huge influence over your eating habits. So if you're looking to lead a healthy lifestyle, your food contributes 80% to your success. Hence, picking the right food is crucial in maintaining a healthy weight. If you do not know where to start or if you would like to learn more about healthy eating, do watch my 7 must-have grocery list video for a basic food shopping guide. I started learning more about healthy eating when I started my fitness journey about 6 years ago. It has changed my relationship towards food and the choices I make for my body. So if you guys are interested about fitness, healthy living or to help others to get healthy, the National Academy of Sports Medicine and ASM is a great platform to start. I did my women's fitness specialist course with them and they are currently offering a 14-day free trial for their online personal training course. So if you're interested, link and more information is in my description box. So before you do your grocery shopping, it is very important for you to roughly plan out your meals for the week and you must have a grocery list with you. If you go without knowing what you want, chances are you might end up with more junk than wholesome food. So let's see what's on my grocery list. So I like to write my grocery list according to the different sections in the supermarket. For instance, I have categorized it into meat or chill section, vegetables, can or dry food section, fruits and snacks. This helps me to move around the supermarket more efficiently, especially when I'm tight on time. So I like to start with vegetables as that's the longest on my list. I'll start with my usual favorite vegetable, carrots. I like to pick my own carrots and I prefer smaller carrots because it is easier for me to snack on the entire carrot. Here's something you might not know. I've been eating carrots almost on a daily basis ever since I was young. And I have to say, it's the secret behind my good vision. So if you want good vision, snack on carrots. Next, lettuce and also cherry tomatoes. These are my favorite vegetables because they don't need any preparation and it makes it very easy for me to prep a quick salad. A definitely must have in every fridge. So if they're not on your grocery list, be sure to add them in. So let's move on and buy ingredients to make my favorite cucumber mint cooler drink. So that's one whole cucumber. You know sometimes when I wake up with puffy eyes, I like to place sliced cucumbers on my eyes. It really helps to reduce puffiness and also make me feel more awake. I will also need some fresh mint leaves and also lime to make the natural flavored water. Let's also get some lemons to make lemon water in the morning and I also like to add lemon in my cooking. I'm actually thinking of making my favorite Malaysian crispy seaweed spring rolls sometime this week. I might even share this recipe with you. For that, I'll need yam bean, or more commonly known as sengguang in Malaysia. Hmm. I'm also planning to stir fry some cabbage and long beans when I have my mum over this week. It's her favorite. And of course, spring onions to enhance the flavors. And just because the purple spinach looks so fresh, I'm going to get some and make herbal soup as well. So just remember to be somewhat flexible with your food shopping and choose seasonal vegetables which are fresh. I also have potatoes planned this week. So let's grab a small packet. So while walking through the chilled section looking for tofu, I noticed that my favorite mushroom is currently on half price promotion. It's not on my list, but hey, it's a really good deal. So I'm adding this into my cooking. If you're on a budget, an important tip is to be flexible and choose food which are currently on promotion. It helps you to experiment with different recipes and even save money. One thing I really like about being in Malaysia is that we get a huge selection of fresh tofu and they're so cheap as well. My favorite is silken tofu and choose the one with no added preservative. Another awesome thing about living here is that I get to enjoy fresh coconut. Yup, not bottled coconut drink, which to be honest, tastes funny and is definitely way overhyped as a health drink. 
hands over price. Here, it is something we drink very often. I like to also buy Greek yogurt to add into my cooking, use it as a healthy alternative for salad dressing or dips, and also mix it with fruits. So choose plain yogurt rather than flavored yogurt as they tend to be higher in sugar. Now that I got all my vegetables that mix up the largest part on my list, let's head over to the meat section. So when I cook at home, I like to mostly use chicken breasts or fish. They are my preferred source of protein, lower in fat and easier to cook. I'm thinking of having steamed tilapia with the family this week. Growing up, we would have fish for dinner every single day without fail. Even now, when I'm back visiting my parents, there will still be fish for dinner. My dad loves fish. And over the weekends, I like to make smoked salmon with poached eggs. I probably eat this a little too often. So let's also grab a tray of eggs. If possible, choose free-range organic eggs, especially if the price difference isn't huge. I'll then head to the canned food section and buy tuna cans. With a huge selection of different brands and even flavors, it is very important to read the food label and ingredients list. I prefer the tuna chunks in mineral water, as it is much lower in salt and tastes better. So I tend to stock up on tuna cans as when I'm back feeling tired and not wanting to cook, I can simply have tuna with bread or make tuna salad. So it is also very important to buy healthy, convenient food. Let's also grab a can of corn canals to add into my cooking or salad. Of course, the fresh corn will be a better option. But you know what? Sometimes I do like things a little more convenient. Just remember to choose corn which are not sweetened. Next, bread for my morning breakfast. Of course, bread from the bakery tends to smell and taste so much better. I'm still discovering my neighborhood and haven't found a favorite bakery just yet. For now, I'll settle with the 100% whole grain bread. It is thin but very filling and tastes good. And not forgetting popia or spring roll wraps to make the crispy seaweed spring rolls. Right, I'm done. I'm gonna pay and head out. All of that costs just slightly over 100 ringgit, which is less than $30. Not a bad buy. To get my fruits, I have a favorite fruit stall which I tend to visit. I don't really have a fruit list. I prefer to see the selection of fresh fruits they have, what's in season, and decide what to buy. Look at those dragon fruits. So big and definitely look like it's going to taste sweet. So let's grab them and also mangoes. Of course, some bananas which I like to eat on the go, add into smoothies or even on toasts. I like to buy my fruits in small quantity to make sure that I get to eat them fresh. So I'll visit this place twice a week. Finally, to get my nuts and dried fruits, there's this small stall in a shopping center which I go to. They sell a huge selection of high quality nuts, seeds and dried fruits at a very reasonable price. And not forgetting the endless sampling that this really nice lady would offer me every time I visit. So this time, I've decided to go for a packet of pistachio nuts and dried apricots. Food shopping done! So guys, that's pretty much my weekly grocery shopping. Of course, every week will be slightly different depending on what I want to eat, need to replenish or what's currently in season. At the moment, I still have lots of basic cooking ingredients such as onion, garlic, rice, couscous, oatmeal, peanut butter, herbs and spices, which I don't need. So let me know what's in your grocery list in the comments below. And if you find this video to be helpful, be sure to like it and share it as well. All the best.